Why are you at, um, <clears throat> why would you ask, would I, well, that's not right. This is the Alt-Rider dual, oh, I just did that one again. Jason and I just got back from the Panhandle Adventure Trail, which was an awesome trip across Florida, through the mud, through the deep sand, and I'm so glad that I had the dual control brake lever from Alt Rider when I was doing that trip. But today, I'm gonna do a different Alt Rider product install that I think you're really gonna like. Let's sit outside. Take a motorcycle ride across the beautiful countryside. This is the Alt Rider clutch arm extension that I'm going to be installing on the Aprilia Touareg 660. Why would you ask, would you be wanting to put a clutch arm extension on your motorcycle? The clutch pull on the Aprilia Touareg is actually not bad. It, it, it's not that difficult. Some of you may have seen the video that we did where we talked about the spring on the throttle side of the Aprilia Touareg being really tight. And so we did a modification to that spring. You can check out that video if you're interested. I absolutely love that. It really gives my wrist some uh, relief uh, on long adventures. This is going to do the same. Uh, the clutch arm extension basically allows me to reduce the fatigue in my arm and in my hand when I'm at stoplights and stop and go traffic. And of course, when you're on a long adventure or a long trip and you're ripping through the woods and you're shifting constantly, and then you reach this really technical, difficult sit situation, and all of a sudden you have to <laughs> finesse your clutch and really, you know, modulate that power, and your arm is already tired from riding all day. This is going to help me. It's going to save me from that earlier fatigue. So when I get those hairy situations, my arm is still fresh and ready to react and, and work quickly. The other advantage to the clutch arm extension is that it drastically increases the friction zone of the clutch. So most of you know, uh, you have a little bit of fair play, fair play. <laughs> so most of you know, you have a little bit of free play at the end of your clutch. It just kind of wiggles uh, two or three millimeters, centimeters. Two or three centimeters of just free play where it's not actually doing anything. Then you begin to squeeze your clutch and you feel it start to engage and there's a small little window in there where you can feather that clutch. So if you're going up a really technical hill or a tight bend and uh, your first gear is still kind of uh, too tall for the situation, you can pull that clutch in and just you know, kind of finesse the power from your bike by using the clutch. Same goes for if you're doing a tight turn in a parking lot or a UE on a one-way street. Uh, you know, <laughs> there are a lot of situations where you can use the clutch to finesse the power of your motorcycle as opposed to the heavy-handed uh, hitting power of your throttle. So this gives me an extended clutch uh, engagement range. So I have a much larger range of engagement for that power delivery system where I can control the, the power and the direction of the motorcycle using the clutch. And I'm not an expert rider. <laughs> I know if you're like a pro, you know, the, the amount of clutch free play and the amount of engagement zone that the, the standard clutch has is plenty. But for me and for most of us, you know, hobbyists, people who just love riding but don't get to do it all the time, it's gonna be a nice benefit to have. The brilliant thing that Alt-Rider has done is they've given us two options. So you can attach your clutch lever cable to either the outer link or the inner link. This one gives you 47% decrease in uh, strength for the pull on, on your clutch lever. And this one gives you 23% decrease in the resistance strength needed to pull the clutch lever. Uh, the factory one is closer in yet, somewhere around in here, so each notch as you go out will decrease how hard it is for you to pull the clutch. And I'm personally going to start with the 23% reduction and see how that feels. 
And uh, we'll decide from there, as you can tell, it's something that would be very easy for me to adjust or change later. Um, so if I want to, I might put it out to the 47 after I've experimented with the 23% reduction first. Now the final feature and my particular favorite advantage to the uh, clutch arm extension from Altrider is that it's super easy to install. So let's take some measurements first, some uh, before uh, measurements, and then we'll do some after measurements later. And then uh, we'll get this installed and you guys will see how easy it is to put together. Before we get started, let's run through what comes in your package and what tools you will need. First, we have the clutch arm extension from Altrider. Then comes the cable ferrule pivot, the Nord lock washer, and the cable ferrule base. Now these will be connected together using the M8 fastener and the M5 fastener. When you order from Altrider, they always include a complementary tube of thread lock, so that's kind of cool. The tools you're gonna need are gonna be an eight millimeter ratchet, a six millimeter Allen key, a three millimeter Allen key, and a 13 millimeter spanner. My wife and I do quite a bit of traveling and so we have this measuring tool. It's basically a scale to weigh your luggage before you travel to make sure it's within compliance. So that's what we're gonna be using to measure the resistance of the clutch before and after the installation of the Altrider clutch arm extension. And I've also got a regular ruler that we'll be using to check the free play at the uh, end of the clutch as well. One nice thing I do want to mention, this is the Aprilia Touareg. The Altrider company does make this particular extension for a lot of different motorcycles. So whether you have a T7 or a F850 or you know an Africa Twin, you're probably going to have this product available to you. Sometimes you have to adjust the ferrule up here at the clutch lever itself to uh, give yourself the free play you need to do the installation. One nice thing is with the Aprilia Touareg 660, you don't even have to do that. There's plenty of free play to allow us to do it without adjusting the ferrule up at the front. Putting my ruler underneath the clutch arm, let's see, we're getting about two, two and a half millimeters of free play before it really starts to engage. And that's within specs for this particular motorcycle. All right, let's put our scale on here now. We'll make sure we use the same location before and after. As I pull, I'm just gonna watch. There's five pounds, six pounds, six and a half pounds it looks like before it starts to ease up. Yeah, that was six and a half. Let's do that again. Five. Six and a half. Might almost be seven right there. Yeah, seven. I'm doing it several times just to make sure it's consistent. Seven pounds right there. All right, first thing we're gonna do is just remove these locking washers. And just back that off about halfway. Give you some wiggle room. And then we can back the other end out the rest of the way. We'll get all of this tightened back up later. That gives us enough slack. We should be able to pop the tip out here at the end, just like that. And you'll notice there's a nylon bushing around the tip. And we'll uh, make sure and seat that properly at the end when we reinstall it. But this just allows that to stay nice and secure. At this point, you can go ahead and pull the boot off the end of this part as well. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the bolt, holding the original OEM clutch in place. Bear in mind, this is also retaining the pin in place, so you can't just loosen it. You have to actually pull it all the way out. Just like the retaining bolt on the shift lever, it's actually part of the retaining mechanism. And before we remove the OEM clutch arm, I do want to point out the markings on this uh, side. See the little dot right there? And then there's a matching dot on the clutch arm. Those two are lined up from the factory. 
we're gonna have a similar situation with the alt rider clutch arm where we're gonna have to match that dot to that dot. Next step is to just gent gently rock this out. Try not to lose the spring. That would be bad. <laughs> and there's the spring and the old clutch arm assembly. And I will mention we are going to reuse the original spring, so don't lose that. And I'll also note there is a little cap at the end of this, so don't lose that either. That stays in place. I'm going to clean this up a little bit and we'll install the new one. We'll reseat the bushing uh, right back where it came from and bring in the original spring and that sets right back over that bushing. Now you'll notice that the straight arm, the bottom part of the spring, is going to basically push up against the inner part of that engine block right there. So next we'll bring in the new arm, slide it over, and you'll notice that the curved part of the spring is going to go into this little retaining hole right here. So we'll slide that together, get that in the retaining arm. And slide it down. And as we twist, you'll see the bottom part of the spring pushes up into the place that it's supposed to be in. That's feeling pretty good. And remember, when we pulled the original one off, you have to get the two dots to line up. So as I push this spring, you'll see the two dots come into place. Once that is where it needs to be, bring back your retaining bolt and set that in place. Does that look straight to you? Just remember when you're tightening this, it does not have to be that tight. We are working with aluminum here. That's plenty. Forgive me, I gotta change gears for a second. You know, if you ride a motorcycle, you're probably also a sports fan of some kind or another. Just a bit outside. I'm sure you've heard the term, coming through in the clutch, right? <laughs> you know who else comes through in the clutch for motorcyclists? Rick Stewart, scmotolawyer.com. We're installing a new addition to our clutch, and I'm telling you, if you add him to your team, I'm gonna put up a screenshot right here that you can take a snapshot of so you always have it with you. And if you ever find yourself needing someone to come through for you in the clutch, call Rick Stewart. He's the man. At this point, we can go ahead and pull our cable out. Slide that to the end, it comes right through that little slot. At this point, we are going to go ahead and assemble the cable ferrule pivot with the cable ferrule base. And to do that, we're going to be using the Nord lock washer. Uh, and this is one of the parts that I love about Alt Rider is these pieces are beautifully machined CNC pieces. I mean, they're like a work of art. And then they don't just use a regular lock washer from Home Depot. These Nord lock washers are the same kind of lock washers KTM uses in their shift levers. So high, high quality stuff. I appreciate that they are using top of the line machining and top of the line materials for their products. But once we get that installed, you will notice on this end, we do have a dot just like we had with the other part and a slash. See that little dash right there? The difference is that you can align the dot with one or the other end of that slash, depending on whether you're using the full extension of the arm, giving you the 47% decrease in pressure, or if you're just doing the halfway mark, which is about 23% uh, decrease in the pull tension. So for our sake, we're gonna basically be uh, adjusting that to the innermost part of that 
slash because we're going to use the 23% instead of the 47%. To secure that assembly, we're going to apply a little thread lock or smurf blood, as Jason calls it. Comedy's hard. And the M5 fastener is just going to go on to our little Allen key and into its position inside the ferrule pivot holder. Now once you've got that started, just make sure you have the dot lined up as we discussed earlier. The reasoning behind this will make sense in just a moment and we'll just tighten it the rest of the way and get it installed. To install the ferrule assembly, slip it into place and then you'll feel as you rotate it down there's a little ledge on the inside that just seats into the old cable section. Perfect. And then we'll use the uh, M8 fastener. I've applied a little bit of Smurf blood. Don't go out like a punk! Now just remember this is going into aluminum so you don't have to tighten it very much. In fact, I'm not going anywhere. Whatever you do, don't over tighten it. Perfect. At this point we can reach around and thread the cable back through from the back side. Really? Push our bolt through and begin threading the lock nuts back into place. Once I've got that in place, I'm gonna go ahead and shore that boot back on where it's supposed to go. And the final piece to the puzzle is to pop this all the way around. And in our case, we're gonna go into the first slot right here. Now you'll notice that's kind of standing out, not quite fully seated. And that's because of that nylon bushing in there. So we're gonna push that in for a little pop. There we go. And that's uh, pretty much it. We'll adjust our tension and get all of our locking bolts into place where they need to be. If I pop this boot back off, I just wanna show you guys how precise this is. See how the cable uh, is basically hitting the left-hand side of this, and then as uh, we pull the clutch lever in, it rocks its way over to the other side. See that? That's why it's so important that we get everything aligned as it's designed and machined by Altrider to reduce any wear and stress on the parts. Everything put back together. Let's take a look. That's inches. <laughs> With everything put back together, let's take a look. Right at two and a half centimeters, which is perfect. And let's take a look at the resistance settings. Ooh, not even five, four and three quarters, four and a half. This is a bad device for measuring because, you know, it's really designed for 20 pound bags, but it's clearly quite a bit less. The other was seven, this is not quite five pounds. Not only can you tell the difference in the poundage by the actual measurements that we were taking, but I can already tell there's a huge difference in the friction zone, that, that sweet spot where uh, the, the free play is, is uh, taken up, all the slack is taken up, and then you can feel there's quite a nice little progressive uh, amount of uh, friction play before it fully engages. So that's gonna be really sweet to be able to uh, finesse the motorcycle with uh, the clutch in the future. And uh, there's definitely a major reduction in the power required. My wrist or my fingers are definitely not having to pull as hard as they did with just the stock uh, clutch lever arm. 
Uh, and we didn't even use the 47%, the maximum extension. This is only at the 23% reduction. So uh, I can tell I probably won't need the 47, but I might play with it in a little bit and uh, just go in and make some adjustments. Speaking of adjustments, once we did get everything fitted, you do have to finesse and finagle a little bit uh, just to make sure everything lines up just right. Uh, I showed you the precision of how the cable moves across that uh, opening, and so you want to just make sure that those adjustments are spot on so that the cable is doing what it's supposed to do. But other than that, guys, it's really a very simple install. You could you know, knock it out pretty quick and uh, you'll have yourself a much easier ride and a little bit more control when you're riding. I do want to give a big shout out to Martin and Jeremy LeBreton over at Alt Rider for sending us this part to attach to our project bike. They're fantastic with their customer service. They've always been so responsive in answering our questions. We think you will enjoy working with them and I highly recommend this particular upgrade if you have an Aprilia or an Africa Twin or a T7, any of the popular adventure bikes that they uh, designed this for, highly recommended. And I do want to thank you guys for watching. What's that? You know, without you and your support, we wouldn't uh, be here. We wouldn't be uh, able to do our YouTube channel and bring you more content. So I hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. You have to ask me nicely. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Share this to any of your friends that are thinking about installing this product. No problem. And in particular, I'm curious to know if any of you have this installed on your motorcycle. I'm interested to see what your long-term results have been. And of course, as always, we will we'll report back to you after we've put some miles on the bike with the uh, addition of the clutch arm extension and let you know how it's working long-term. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Let's sit outside. Take a motorcycle ride across the beautiful countryside.